Hello everyone, welcome to Playwright Tutorial. I am Rakan Mishra and in this video we will learn how to automate the first test case using Playwright Framework. And uh, these are the topics which I am going to cover in this uh, lecture, so which is going to be very interesting. So please pay attention and uh, I am sure that you will get good amount of learning from this video. So I am going to cover uh, and uh, tell you like how to create npm project and install playwright dependencies so entire framework will be installed with the execution of single command so i will talk about the browser and will show you like how to use a page and browser uh, fixture and async await in playwright and then i will um, automate one uh, google.com test case wherein we will be validating the title of that google.com uh, with the help of you know test annotation and assertion so and uh, yeah so if you are using playwright you don't need to you know uh, install mocha chai testing uh, test ng or any external tool for assertion so you can use uh, uh, a playwright itself so that's the beauty uh, of you know playwright and um, uh, also you can make sure all your test flaky tests are stable with the playwright right uh, I will also uh, cover the playwright uh, configuration file for test execution and uh, I will show you like how to run a uh, playwright test in multiple browser. Okay, so let us go to the Visual Studio code, VC code, and create one folder called playwright automation and I will select that folder. And what you can do next is like you can go uh, to the terminal and quickly give npm uh, provided uh, your yeah, node.js is installed. So I will give playwright to install the playwright here in this uh, folder basically. And I will go with a JavaScript and I will go with a I'll choose JavaScript and go with the default options which are there, there in the console. Okay, so it is uh, it has downloaded all those uh, dependencies, all the jars, and everything is there in this uh, node modules uh, folder. Okay, so you can see everything is there inside this. Okay, so it is more or less like uh, you know uh, MVN dependencies like. Uh, you have jar here uh, you are having those libraries everything right is inside this playwright whatever is needed uh, for the test um, to automate so once you see the happy uh, hacking it means i mean your play uh, playwright framework has been installed next you can run you can create your uh, test you can automate your test and you can run the test basically using npx command okay so this is the example spec and I'm going to create one more and I will remove uh, this example because we are going to write our own for our test scenario, okay, which is nothing but the validation of uh, google.com title, okay. So maybe I can write that google, google test dot spec dot js. So this is the convention you, you should follow. Uh, your test file should end, end with, you know, dot spec dot JS. Okay. And uh, then what you have to do, you have to just go ahead and uh, import one test annotation. So with the help of, you know, require, and we will actually import the playwright test and we'll store it in the, test variable so this is the test annotation okay we are importing playwright uh, test package here and we are good to write uh, the test now so my playwright first test okay my first playwright test or whatever you want to name it like my first playwright test Okay, and uh, what I will uh, now use, I will actually go ahead and uh, use one fa <clears throat> anonymous uh, function and 
the use of this fat operator you can add one anonymous function and you have to put semicolon and inside this you can use you can use uh, one fixture called which is provided by a uh, playwright so there are hardly you know four uh, fixture in the uh, you know uh, playwright so one is like browser so it will be now made available right to all the uh, you know commands inside this uh, test so if you are uh, having this curly braces it means that you are using the uh, uh, fixture provided by uh, playwright if it is not enclosed with the curly braces it means that it is normal uh, string uh, you know parameter so just always make sure that it is enclosed with the curly braces okay and now inside this what you have to do like um, you have to set the context browser so we will be opening a new browser right without giving any uh, additional attribute like proxy and other things right so we are uh, simply uh, invoking or launching the new fresh instance of browser okay and that value will uh, can be passed uh, from this uh, playwright.config we can define that value here okay so which browser we are going to you know launch so i'll, I'll talk about that and uh, then let me store that in the context variable and uh, you have to use async for this all those you know function and for these events or instruction right all these commands you have to use await okay why uh, do we use await because uh, uh, in the javascript right uh, in these tests if you are not using await then there are chances that your instruction like uh, it will uh, executed on fly i mean like uh, on a random basis so you never know like which uh, line gets executed first so when we are putting this await it is the uh, actually we are giving the assurance that okay our test is going to be our those i mean uh, whatever is written inside this test will be executed one after another or maybe it will follow the uh, order basically so uh, line number first uh, uh, line number five will be executed first then six then it will go on and execute seven and eight and so on okay so uh, this is required async is required uh, and uh, await is required as in when like you are going to automate one uh, login scenario wherein you have to make sure that you have entered username and password then you are clicking on the login button what happened uh, what happens like when it clicks on a login button without without entering username and password so your uh, test case will uh, fail right for sure so in avoid in order to avoid such scenario or such thing uh, to happen we use await in playwright okay in the javascript basically so that is uh, what the await is all about and now we will actually set the context we will use this context variable and then call a fresh page for our uh, url we are going to invoke www dot google.com so i will write go to and then i will give https google www or i can type okay i have to give a wait here also and now i will give a wait and give page title so i'm looking for the title now and which can be printed inside the console on the console also okay so let me use console log and print this whatever i am getting as title for google.com and then i will expect my uh, page to have that title to have title okay as google.com okay so we know for sure that uh, this is the title of google.com since while right so there is no change so that's it and uh, now if i save and uh, just run npx play playwright and test and let's see what is going to happen so it is going to run three tests using three workers workers so basically whatever is there inside that uh, playwright config is actually getting overridden and getting precedence so i may not be interested in so many you know uh, properties files which are there in that um, uh, uh, playwright config uh, i will uh, definitely discuss about all those you know properties and uh, uh, every uh, in my coming lectures so, but for now i will actually remove uh, these things uh, from here 
and make it very uh, simple okay so i am not going to use all these so i will remove these uh, forbidden okay and uh, i will be actually using this okay and now so uh, this is the config object uh, which have this uh, test directory uh, so whatever is uh, test are there inside the test directory are going to get executed okay as in when like this uh, playwright config files get triggered so whatever test cases like a uh, google test dot spec dot js will be triggered which is inside test directory when we execute our command and uh, i will remove this also because we are not running running anything in the parallel but i will cover them in the next lectures so i can remove this i will remove this also and uh, rather than you know having all those uh, so let's have let's run our test in uh, you know headed mode so for that what i will do actually i will uh, write the browser name which is going to be uh, chromium because i am going to launch my test on a chrome browser and uh, there is a headless property also so headless i will add because we are going to launch the browser we want to see the browser on getting launched right so i will set it to a uh, false because if it is set it to you know uh, you know true then it will uh, go and execute the test in headless mode okay so now i will run the same command and see what happens so it is executing uh, google.com but eventually the test is failed and we have to see so uh, look at here so i have not used uh, guys i have not used await so which is why I, it is it is getting failed okay so there are chances it gets executed first and without uh, uh, looking uh, for or without invoking the google.com itself okay so what i will do i will actually go ahead and add await here to make sure it is getting executed after it has printed the title or it has executed on i mean it has accessed google.com it has in, uh, print the title on the console then it will actually go and assert uh, go and execute this you know statement wherein it is asserting uh, for for title okay of google.com so let me run it again and see what happens see it has passed and i will also see if google is printed on the console or not yeah google has printed google is has printed on the console and uh, test is passed so this is how you can actually uh, create the test and i will talk about the screenshot and every other you know uh, all other possible assertions uh, so there are hardly you know 20 to 25 assertions are there in the playwright so i'm going to cover each and uh, every one of them in my coming lecture so if you have not subscribed to my channel you can you know go ahead and subscribe and be standby on this channel and if you have any specific need you can comment uh, on on this video or on this channel and i will try to make videos on those you know uh, topics as well so i'm going to see the, see the report and you can see that so google uh, test this is my spec file and this is the test case name my first playwright test and these are the you know each statement which got executed these are the test steps right which uh, and it shows like how much time amount of time it has taken right to launch the browser to set the context you can see one second in one second i mean like it has actually launched google.com and in five milliseconds it, it has actually checked the title and i mean it has asserted uh, asserted that uh, you know google.com has title as you know google so all looks fine right and you can see so this is the default um, uh, html report uh, for my test so we'll talk about uh, those reporting as well in coming lecture so i'm going to cover everything and uh, all end to end scenarios using phase object uh, model also so please do subscribe and stand by on this channel and that's it uh, on this video and uh, thanks for watching and i will see you in next video
till then keep learning